is, as, as the coach, you control the setup. What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy's got the ball. Coach Mack, nice to meet you. Okay, Jeremy's got the ball guarded by? Lance. Lance, okay. As a coach, you control the setup. Do you want Jeremy to use a live dribble, or do you want him on a, out of a triple threat? Number one, I think it's easier off of a live dribble for Jeremy to use the ball screen. I do. I think it's easier for him to use it. A lot of times when Jeremy's cut the ball and he's in triple threat, Lance can jump right into him. And what's your name? Ricky. And Ricky comes over to set a ball screen. It's a little bit harder for Jeremy to use that ball screen. It is Jeremy, correct? Yep. Got short-term memory sometimes. A little bit harder. He's going to get up into him. But if Jeremy has a live dribble, stay back here, Ricky, for a second. He dribbles into it. It's a little bit harder because Lance got more of a, a threat to him in terms of driving the basket. So now it's a little bit easier for Jeremy to use that ball screen. Okay? And I notice you keep going under the ball screen, Lance, but we're going to deal with that here in a second. So as a coach, understand when you start putting in plays, if you're going to put ball screen plays in, that you control the setup. Do you want it off a live dribble or do you want it off a triple threat? And there are advantages to both. But just remember, easier to set if it's off triple threat. It's an easier job for Ricky. He has an easier job to set the ball screen because the defender's not really moving. Just makes it a little bit harder for Jeremy to use it off of triple threat. Now, two things that I want to teach our point guards. Bring it out maybe here, Jeremy. There's two things he needs to think of. He needs, number one, to think about getting separation from the defender. So let's say he's going to bring it over and go over to on a side ball screen. He's got to get separation from Lance. And right now, Jeremy's in trouble. Coached a kid at Wake Forest for one year. Then I came back to Xavier. Chris Paul, he's one of the best. I went down to uh, uh, training camp about a week ago. And he was, he was adamant, and he was talking to Darren Collison, who I think is a rookie now with the Hornets, said you can't get yourself pinned on the sideline. And right now, Jeremy's put himself in an awkward position. So, Jeremy, if you go back, and one of the things, if I could just be you, and then, you're, and then we're going to switch places. If Lance is guarding me, he was really adamant about getting into him, making sure there's separation. Now, he's not three feet from the sideline. So making sure that you can get separation from your defender is very important. You may get separation, here you go, Jeremy, off of triple threat, simply by jabbing like you're going to go baseline. And he's going to get a little separation. But you don't want that defender, the more he's into you, the harder it's going to be to use the ball screen. Okay? So the first thing I want from a player's perspective and a ball handler's perspective is I want Jeremy to be able to get separation from the defender. The second one, and Jeremy, I want you to start with a live dribble right from half court, dribble to the wing, get separation. Second thing is you want to get to the level of the ball screen. So if Ricky sets the ball screen here, he got to the level of the ball screen. Once you rewind it back here, Jeremy. Sometimes guys get so flustered with pressure that, Ricky, you're going to set it on the sideline, right, maybe right where the, uh, the white line and the black line intersect right in there. And he gets so frustrated, frustrated, you know, flustered with pressure, he can't get to the level of the screen. And when you can't get to the level of the screen, you have no chance to use the ball screen. Don't get yourself pinned in and make sure you get to the level of the screen, okay? So here we go. Go ahead, Jeremy. Just walk him down there. Good. Not bad. Exactly right. Exactly right. Good, Lance. So those are the two things I think as a ball handler, as a coach, you can make sure your ball handler is getting separation from his defender. It's not pinning himself in on the sideline. And then getting to the level of the screen is really, really important as a ball handler.